Good day ladies and gentlemen. This is a little tutorial for making history maps for your Lawrence. I did one the other day. You can look back in my uh, channel and you'll see one that I've done for Hummingbird. Very similar, um, but I'll go through it all uh, quite briefly. You can always, if you need a little bit more detail, go back to that map. Basically on your screen you've got um, a couple of uh, items you need to download uh, in the uh, descriptions below. First of all you need to download the uh, SAS Planet. You click on, on the, it'll take you to this page. You click on the latest one. You, and you, you download it. It'll come up in your downloaded folders and we will get all those folders there that we downloaded. You basically unzip the planet uh, release uh, and you put it into a folder which uh, you select, extract it to your, your let's, let's go there, OneDrive, mapping and I have already extracted it there, you can see it's highlighted. SAS Planet. Alright. I would normally click LA. Okay. And away you go. <coughs> you then go and you extract the tile storage folder and the and the GE as well as the GC, that particular one. Extract it to the very same folder except the one that you've just created. Where is that guy? There it is, mapping. And you go to SS Planet and you extract it there. Click yes, it's okay. And you do the very same thing for Tile Storage GC. And to check all of that, you open up your uh, File Explor Explorer and you go down to SS Planet. And then you scroll down and you will find them there. You did not have those prior to installing them. No, you do now. And last but not least, you extract the geocacher direct Z ZMT ZMP that you uh, have just done as well. That one over there, that guy. All right, now you're ready to rock and roll. You go back to your planet release or planet uh, SAS planet. You open up the application. Click OK. And the first thing that you do is you go to Settings, Options, and you go to the Cache tab, and you look for the Google Cache folder, which would be uh, the username, App Data, Local Low. Google and Google Earth and you click OK. It'll come up looking just like that. Click Apply and OK. Now it'll be looking for the folders that are in your Google Earth image. Google Earth uh, uh, program. Alright. You can't run Google Earth as well as uh, um, SAS. They have a conflict. So you need to switch the one off or uh, switch the one on and switch the one off. It's a bit of a pain, but that is just how it is. You then go to your Google Earth and you go to, I'm going to go to Inanda Dam. Just for sports. <coughs> can go to any one you choose and then of course you basically we'll just do a small section of the dam we'll just call it the main lake main lake area so basically what you do is you look for a map that you are happy with um, you go to the history imagery which goes all the way back to 2000 there's some really crappy images there 
the one that you want. Let's try and find one that is reasonable. You always want to try and find a low one so that you can have the the imagery on it that you can see where the dam is low. You can see the little bits and pieces on the bank, the rocks and the all sorts of different things. This is a nice one over here. This is a great one. 8th to the 16th, 2016. I think it's a pretty recent one. But irrelevantly, irrelevant. Pick that date. You then go to Tools, Options. You go to Cache. You clear the memory cache. And you clear the disk cache. Not too sure if you need to do both, but I'll do both in any case. You then click OK. Now all that is left in... Google Earth is this particular date there and it will give you the image. I'm going to scroll through the whole dam and you need to go in really tight into the dam. You need to actually as a matter of fact go all the way in and when you see the, the tiles clearing then you know that they've loaded actually need to go through the entire dam scroll and get the dam nice and and download it <coughs> it's a real pain for you to open and close it so do it thoroughly you need to make sure you do it really 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 thoroughly i'm going to pause here i don't want to bore you guys and uh, come back all right i'm back and uh, as you can see, it hasn't taken me too long. And I think I've downloaded it. It might even have done it at zoom level 20. And I've really done it with hardly any care to detail. And as you can see, I've done it at 5,200 foot. Can go in a little bit more, but I don't believe that it's going to download a better picture, <coughs> unfortunately. The picture that you get on Google is the only picture that you can get. Okay, so now that we've cached that stuff into uh, Google, we've reopened Planet SAS Planet, and we go forward to making the map. All right, so yeah, we've missed the whole section over here. Zoom level nineteen. Unfortunately, we have missed quite a bit of it, as you can see. Okay, well, let's check if we are on zoom level 18. Yeah. All right, let's, let's, just for, you can see the difference between 19 and 18. You can see which ones you've downloaded. And we have it on a 20. Ah, oh, there's some sections of 20. So you can go down to 20 if you really want to, but uh, I don't really believe it's all that important. Well, it's up to your personal preference. And we will go and we will do it at zoom level 18. So we say, <coughs> so you can go along and make a click there, make a, sorry, over there, polygonal. And we've done all of those guys. You want to just make sure the ones that you've got are, in fact, downloaded. So you're doing it very hastily. This is as fast as you can do a map if you really want. In a hurry. If you need to go fishing. You don't want to sit for days making maps. So you pop this guy in there. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. We're ready to rock and roll. 
<coughs> now this is where it differs from the hummingbird installation or the hummingbird uh, map making you go to the same tab stitch you go down here to KMZ JPEG overlays you then go to your Enanda and let's go and oh, this one is oh, let's delete this guy and we've got, we've got one ready for Enanda and we say new folder let's call it test okay and we say open and we make it test one so we take that KMZ there this is the key we make it zip so we zip it zippity zip zip and remember 18 was the number you can spend a little bit of time on Google and zoom in and go through the stuff thoroughly and make uh, zoom level 19 or 20 if you want no problems you then make that 100 percent google it and click start and we've got 816 files that's, so that's actually 816 photos that it is actually copying over normally with uh, big maps you can do it quick quick very 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 quick all right <coughs> now you've got to bear with me now i am not the so clued up on uh lawrence i have i used to have a lawrence i used to actually have both um one hds9 uh, gen 2 touch i had one of those guys uh, actually two of those guys and i had then bought the onyx and i have chosen the onyx over the lawrence believe it or not far better unit i believe um you can do as many maps as you can with uh, the lawrence they've each got their the positives but i prefer the hummingbird obviously anyway so you get to inside map creator you can download that from the i think it's the, the genesis inside genesis website oh, i'm not 100 percent sure but you download the thing you guys will figure it out google it get inside map creator start that puppy up you then go to view processing mode you go to raster mode you then add a folder and you go to your uh, mapping and you go to Enanda. This is the obviously where we've made the folder or the file. Oh, I've made a small error. Let's quickly go back. Sorry about that. Like I said, I haven't done it too often. So you go back to Enanda and you go to your zip file that you've just created. You open that up and you extract that puppy. You first have to extract it. And you take it back to that particular map. Sorry about that. Bad form on video. Oh, anyway, what can one do? And you open it up and away you go. Cool bananas. Now, there it is there. Now you can actually delete that zip folder. Bye bye, Mr. Zip folder. All right. There you've got now your documents, your KML, and then your inside your file folder, you have got millions of pictures. All of those pictures. 800 and something out of them. Okay, so you've got them there. You can actually go into each one, and if you really wanted to enhance the pictures, you can do so. Hey, that's a big job. But you can do it it does help sometimes when you're looking for detail in any case go back to the map creator select in source files and we go to sorry we go back there to Enanda test
click on that, if I'm not mistaken, and you go to back to create that. Oh, there we go, and then your you need to then go to your zoom levels. I like point zero five point zero. 0 0.5 sorry and you go to 64 that determines the maximum out and maximum in that you can go to and this you can this is your output folder basically where you want to put it so I'll put it in an ANDA and we go choose all right and we say build uh, Click on say that. My apologies. I just had to pause there and have a look. See, you actually have to go to test the folder that um, is holding all of the files. So in other words, if we go back to Inanda, you have got the test folder, and then inside the test folder, you've got the doc and the files. If you don't click on that one, you actually go back to the the test folder. The actual one that's holding everything in it. My apologies for that. So you go to test, choose it, and you then go to you've given it the output folder and you click build. <coughs> and then you will see discovering the source folders, obviously checking it out, doing its thing. It takes quite a bit of time to process all of that. I'll just give it a little pause. And I'll return. Still going. And actually this is the longest part waiting for us to happen. Going, 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 ever going. Still pausing. As you can see we're still going, still going. Eh, it's taking forever. Slow computer. Still going, still going. I think this might be the end of it, the end of the road. Oh yes, merging and process is complete. That is just fantastic. Fantastic. <coughs> Alright. So basically from there, we want to see what it's made. And we go to mapping. We go to Ananda. And there's your bound eighty fives. We basically take that folder there. And you move it to your, you plug in your, your SD card, your standard SD card, and you shrink that guy down, and you move it into there, onto your SD card. <coughs> <coughs> Copying it. There we go. You take that and you rename shaded relief. And you st you take your SD card and you put it into your Lorenz Finder and you go to chart options and you do all the fancy bits and pieces that all the guys talk about. But that's how you make a map for the Lorenz uh, Fish Finder. Google Earth History Map. I just did uh, in and in what, less than an hour, I would imagine. Um, so guys, I hope you... Uh, 
like and share my video let everybody have a look at it and start making your maps happy days guys cheers